Good evening. Good evening, class. Hello. Good evening, David. Oh, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, good, good. How was your day? Yeah, it was a nice, nice day. Almost uh, because it's Friday is a good day. Yeah. TGIF. Yeah, wonderful, huh? Finally. Yeah. Oh, it feels good, right? Yes. <laughs> Do you have any plans for the weekend? It's a bit a rest. <laughs> mm. That's good plans. They're really good plans. Yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, yeah. Uh, so you're just going to stay at home? Nothing else? No. Sorry? You're just going to stay at home? Nothing else? Uh, I can hear you. I think it's my, my device is... That's okay. It, you, I said it, you're not. You're just gonna stay at home. Nothing else. Mm, no, I I need to go to the school, but uh, oh. yes. yes, but but uh, uh, from Monday to Friday. Yeah, Weekdays. yeah, yeah. The, yes. But I'm. I I mean. On the weekend, uh, you're just gonna stay at home. You don't have any other plan? No, no. Mm. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Hello, Anna Claudia. Hey, your microphone. Hi, teacher. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> my microphone goes on mute. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing I'm doing very well. My oh, good. my my relatives were uh, can I say they went out today? They are traveling, going back to their home. Okay, mm. I had some relatives here visiting us during this uh, almost two weeks, but they uh, are going back to to home to their home. Mm -hmm. So uh, now it's like kind of <laughs> relaxing oh yeah yeah okay, this has mm, these days had been kind of crazy mm. helping them uh, getting uh some appointment with doctors looking mm. for yeah they just yeah. came for uh, healthy health issues and yeah. but they go back happy because they found answers to what they were looking for. So, good, good. I'm glad so to I hear guess that. today I'm going to sleep normal. <laughs> yeah. You haven't been sleeping well? No, no, because uh, after classes sometimes they were we I continue with mm. them or the next day. Uh, you know, when you have visits uh, or relative visiting you mm -hmm. is like uh, it's additional time yeah, it's of good course. yeah yeah but i'm glad that you, they were able to um get what they wanted exactly thank you teacher. Mm -hmm. yes yeah they that's go good. Good answer. excellent excellent good good what about you um good well yeah not not too bad not too bad i can't i can't complain yeah. Is it good cold too? Is uh um actually the weather has gotten much better. Wow. Oh, okay. Um 
it's still i mean it's not hot hot but um but it's kind of better but um i was i was checking out the uh mm -hmm. this uh this um weekend is supposed to get really good mm. um right now it's right now it says that at this particular moment mm -hmm. it's at 10 and it feels like it's an eight ah, okay but maybe it's because you're also getting used to yeah no but uh, like before it was like when when I first One. came, well, but I said the second week I came, it was like there were days where it was one or zero, and it felt like minus four, minus wow. five, yeah. So it was yeah. it was pretty bad, and um, um, yeah, yeah. So so right now ten, and and feeling like eight, it's like it's spring. Good, so yeah, much better. And, and remember, it's five o'clock in the morning here. Mm -hmm. so yeah. today it's supposed to be at 18 that's the highest today and oh, okay. it's supposed to feel like 15 oh okay but not too bad yeah yeah that's i think that's pretty good and then yeah so so that's on saturday and then sunday is supposed to be even better oh okay sunday is supposed supposed to be at 19 mm. mm -hmm. yeah so I, i'm curious uh, i guess the four seasons are showing in Istanbul, right yeah is, is it possible that happens uh i don't know if it's the name is sand rain sand uh, i don't know if it's correct when you have all these sandstorm, sandstorm, is it correct to say sandstorm? Yeah, um, but not this, not not um, not there at the city, I guess. No, maybe. no, because um, there's no sand oh, in this area. Yeah. Like there's no no deserts nearby. Ah, there are no okay. deserts yeah so all these uh, uh things that we suffered twice or three on a year the Sah the sahara uh, found can i say dust yeah the sahara yeah. dust sand no yeah yes yeah, dust because sand. we call it uh -huh, polvo sahara but we know it's sand <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah but it's a sound but the thing is but it's because of the position of el salvador because uh -huh. it's at the same level i think of the sahara so it mm -hmm. just it like this right but mm -hmm. istanbul is up here like oh, really? istanbul istanbul is 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 at the same height as like um how much Mila. is the height for for istanbul um, that's a good question <laughs> because i guess that's why or that's the reason why is cold oh yeah no the, we are at the height of um of like milan i think ah. like yeah uh, yeah, but it's a uh, three thousand, four thousand feet or two thousand oh, feet. No, we're hold on. Um, you mean uh, above the sea level? Uh huh. Um. So I don't know how high Istanbul Istanbul is from the sea sea level. I guess that is the measure of that sea level. Yeah, the thing is that we like in Turkey we're surrounded by water. The mm -hmm. whole country is surrounded by water, okay. and like 
the the Bosphorus, which is the strait that goes into the to the the Black Sea, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like um is from from where I live, is is only a twenty five minute walk. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I'm very close to the Bosphorus, um, so yeah, it, yeah, about twenty five minutes at the most walking. Um and yeah, and that's that I have to walk down hills and up hills and everything. So it's actually very, very close. So we are and yeah, and, and not very far away is the, the Black Sea. Okay. Mm -hmm. wow. So it's amazing. Yeah, it's surrounded by by water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um so nice. it's not too high. A, a, a not a high city talking about the level or meter over the seas the elevation above the sea uh, it's 40 it's 40 meters 4,000 meters? No, 40 meters. Forty meters up, I guess, above sea level. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's um yeah. Yeah, but like I said, it's um, it's all surrounded by water. Ah, okay. It, everything is water. Like here, Istanbul is literally the passage, um, literally between Asia and mm -hmm. and 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 um, in Europe. So, um, we have the Marmara, the Marmara Sea. Then there's the Strait, the Bosphorus Strait, ah. and up here is the it's a black sea. Black sea. So yeah. So we have black sea, Marmara, and in the middle is the strait, the the Bosphorus, mm -hmm. that connects, and we're right here, <laughs> like wow. we are right next to the Bosphorus. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's very it's very humid, very very mm -hmm. humid. Actually, um, a friend of mine, she's from Russia, mm -hmm. and you know Russia is very cold. It's cold. Huh? But she says that it feels sometimes it feels colder here in Istanbul because that of is the water. Ah, uh, okay. Because of that, we're surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Good to yeah. know. Interesting, huh? <laughs> okay. Thank um, you. <laughs> okay yeah. for me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Um. Okay. All right. So guys, um, I need, oh, well, actually, hello, everybody else. <laughs> um, good to see everybody. Uh, TGIF, right? Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. Uh, do we have any um, nice, important plans for this weekend? Resting. Yeah, yeah, Roxana, you need rest. Yeah, you've been working really, really hard this weekend, this week. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of you? No plans? So. Mm, in my case, teacher, maybe just to spend time with my mom that she is in the house now and she's mm -hmm. visiting us and yeah i think that maybe spend time with her maybe um i don't know go out for tomorrow maybe for lunch and um in the, uh, the afternoon maybe uh, go for a, a cup of coffee a dessert but yeah nice. family time all the weekend <laughs> Oh, okay, that sounds like a good plan. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, that's excellent. That's fine. Anybody else? Any other puns? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Heidi. How are you? I'm going you? out. I'm going out from work. Oh wow! Okay. I was listening, and, and uh, the plans are we're going to have the, the sports. How do you say intramuros? Oh, um, sports day. Uh, the sports day at the bank, and I'm playing basketball with oh. friends from other branches. Oh, wow, that's interesting. That sounds like fun. Oh, it that's will great. Be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. So you play basketball, huh? I play basketball since I was a little kid. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I like that's it. Oh, interesting. That's great. That's good for you. Excellent, excellent. Well, it sounds like it's going to be like a fun weekend then. I hope yeah. so. <laughs> I hope I hope your your um your team wins. <laughs> I'll tell you by by my yeah. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> excellent. Okay, guys. Um, so would you guys um help me? with your cameras because I'm going to be taking attendance right now. I see about half of you only. Okay, so I'm going to start with Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia. Present teacher, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, by the way, we missed you yesterday. Oh, yes. It's because we had like the last dinner with my relative. Mm, and it was yeah. oh, this, a busy day. I can imagine. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right, David. This is teacher. Wonderful. Dora. Present. Excellent. Welcome. Fernando Ernesto. Okay. Present. All right, wonderful, welcome. Fernando Marvin. Present. Excellent, welcome. And Fred Francisco. Present teacher. Ah, there he is, okay, wonderful, thank you. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Iliana. Present teacher. Wonderful, welcome. Harvin. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Welcome. Jose Marcos. Present. All right, welcome. Jose Osmin. Present teacher. Wonderful, welcome. Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Excellent, welcome. Juan Miguel. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Ramon Enrique Mata. Ramon Enrique Mata. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis, Roxana Ibet. All right, welcome. William Alexander. Present. All right, welcome. Suleyma Yvonne. But, eh, Wendy Patricia. Wendy, Wendy, no se ha conectado. Okay, Wilfredo Guardan. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, welcome um, to today's class. Um, I'm really happy to see you. Um, and um, so today, well, um, better said yesterday, we were um we were um 
starting to discuss cyber attacks, right? Uh, and we talked about some cyber attacks that um, had happened in, in El Salvador, right? Um, and what they were, right? Um, did you guys investigate anything else, any other cyber attacks that were famous in El Salvador? Any other ones that you found out about? No, not really? Okay, okay. All right, well, today we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be um, looking at uh, vocabulary that um, is related to cyber attacks, okay? So we're going to get familiar with that vocabulary so we can speak about cyber attacks. So, um, I want to know if you can see my PowerPoint. Please let me know. Yes. You see it? Yes, oh. teacher. Okay, wonderful. Yes. So today is um, uh, the advanced four. It's a number 18, and the date is Friday, February 24th, 2023. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so um, what we're going to do to begin with, we're going to be working in groups, okay? And um, I'm going to be assigning you one of these words for you to um, investigate the meaning, okay? So I'm gonna divide you and you're just gonna investigate one word, that's it. Okay, so basically I'm gonna have four groups. You're gonna investigate the meaning of the word according to the topic, which is um, cyber attacks, right? So all of these things, um, have can have different meanings, but we are specifically looking for the meaning related to cyber attacks. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to divide you into groups. But before I do that, I need to make sure that um, that uh, everybody is here that you guys are able to participate. Um, so just give me a moment while I figure this one out. Okay, so Ana Claudia, Dora, Indiana, and Radhika. Okay, well, thank you. I think the girls are all here. Um, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, wonderful. And let's see. Um, let me see. Okay. All right. So that group can work. Uh, Fernando Ernesto. Let me see, Fernando Ernesto, where's Fernando? Okay, yeah, I see you, yeah. yeah, okay. And uh, Francisco Eduardo, where's Francisco, okay. Francisco Eduardo, are you, are you gonna be able to uh, work in the group? Oh, you're on a call. Okay, so I guess not. Okay, all right. Say, so Dave, 
David, Fernando, Marvin. Marvin, okay. Yeah, 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 I can see you. Um, and Heidi. Me, Roberto, and Mediano. Okay. All right. I think I know. Okay. So, um, all right. So I got it. Um, at the top of your page, oh, I'm sorry, at the top of your screen, you will be able to see the word that you have to, um, you have to be investigating. Okay. So <clears throat> there's only one word that you have to investigate, only one, okay? So just give me a moment. Okay. All right, so like I said, at the top of your page uh, or of the screen, you will find the name of the vocabulary that you have to be um, investigating about, okay? Um, so is that clear what you guys are gonna be doing before I send you? To the groups, are you clear on what you have to do? Yes, no? Yes, did you? Yeah, yes. so just one word, that's it. And make sure that you that everybody in the group understands that word because later I'm going to be changing the groups and you are going to be explaining to your new group what that word means. So you got to all know how to explain it. Okay? Was that pretty clear? Yeah. Uh, Francisco Eduardo, are you going to be able to participate? No, teacher. Uh, I tried, teacher, uh, because uh, for a moment, uh, have a, a little busy because I have my, my work, but okay. in this moment, uh, I have changed the picture. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, yeah, just just um, just going making sure because um, that way I can put you into one of the groups. Okay, all right, perfect. So we're gonna open the rooms right now. Okay, here we go. And uh, everybody look for the word and then share the the meaning that you find. Remember that it's in the 
in the context of cyber attacks. And uh, the, then we construct a, a common definition that let us understand what is the meaning. Okay. Our word is malvertising. Malvertising, yes. Okay, let me search. Let me search info about about that. Uh, sorry, it was in Spanish. <laughs> malvertising. Okay. Malvertising. Malvertising. Try to understand to, to find something and then we can see the definition. Malware. Well, we need to know what is malware or what malware is because malvertising is incorporating malware. Malware. Yeah, malware. Malware and advertising. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it's, a, it's a mix of that word. Yeah, malware and ads. <clears throat> Mal okay. We need to know what is malware. Yeah, it's a um, Cyber security. Mm. Eh. Mm -mm -mm. And we in cyber security, I found that the human factor is one of the yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found uh, this question human factor in cybersecurity, the weakest link? Mm -hmm. yeah, we're looking at the same. And it says, so it's common for employees to increase their digital footprint without being aware of the risk involved. We hear this repeatedly, humans are the weakest link in cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's look for more because mm -hmm. it's not giving said technology is important but the old expression that humans are the weakest link in any cybersecurity program seems truer than ever employee training is a critical line of defense as cyber cri cyber criminals continue mm -hmm. to prey on remote workers the easiest way into an organization is by tricking an employee to let you in. And I found also another line that it said, why is the human factor that we... Like malware, malware is malicious software, and malvertising is malicious advertising. Malicious ads, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just to be sure, teacher, we need to look for the meaning and, and 
then we have to give a, an example. Yeah, exactly. In in your own words, right? So nothing that is like from directly from the internet. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Are you ready or not yet? Almost done, teacher. Almost, Almost done. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I have another definition there here, sorry. And I will try to copy and paste in the chat. I was I, like I was telling you is the the best way to understand maybe these kind of situations are related with examples or with uh, with uh, noun cases about this situation. Yeah. Okay. Any actions taken on the internet are to be with the intention to be actively. The concept or the definition. Uh, uh, in, in in fact, and, and nowadays is related with with cybersecurity, but uh, you can this example you can replace internet with device or programs or maybe your infrastructure, uh, for instance, your network, uh, your corporate net, corporate network, yeah. Your servers, your. Give me a second, please. Okay, okay. Any actions taken? The message to other permissions. This is different. Are you guys ready or do you need more time? I'm, I'm ready, teacher, but uh, yeah, William and Fernando, mm -hmm. I don't know, and Wendy, sorry, I don't know if they are ready. Yeah, remember, um, as a group, you got to be ready, right? Like, you have to okay, okay. understand it. Okay, we'll wait for, for everyone. Mm-hmm. you have to create like a password and you have like your credentials and mm -hmm. the for example my company they are very 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 specific in that part so don't share your credentials with anyone anyone please because yeah because you have to to protect the information that you have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can be stolen mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but also, but also, if you, for example, talking about this word, in the case that you leave the door open and not completing the security process to close your computer at the end of your shift, let's say in that way, you uh, there is a weak link right there because uh, maybe you didn't unlock the computer, someone else can install viruses, or maybe if you open an email. Yeah, that is that's why it's very important to for us to learn uh, to identify when an email looks suspicious and look okay. with maybe a malicious when they try to 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 oh yeah someone tries to to do something that it's wrong and mm -hmm. that's the the and easy that is the way reason to why that information yeah mm -hmm. and i guess that is the reason why companies they don't allow to for employees to open social media programs or stuff like that mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that cause vulnerability, they can get like a virus or suspicious <laughs> file, a patch file, and that will be a, getting problems to the whole organization, mm -hmm. compromising the security. Yeah. Are you finished, girls? Uh, yeah, I think that we understand. <laughs> I think yeah. that yeah, we are ready. Wonderful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay. I guess we understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's clear. I think. Ay, se me cayó el permanente de las uñas. Yeah, me está cayendo. Forty-seven and forty-eight hot dog is a sandwich. It all comes down to the bun. Hey guys, we're getting slammed with malware. Yeah, How's our new security search going? Have we picked a winner yet? Oh. Guys, we need to figure this out fast. Let's meet after lunch to talk. I want both of you to come with a plan. Oh, I completely forgot we were. Yeah, not the main uh, contact or the or the principal. They just have. Uh, Maybe agreement with a specific contact, not with mm -hmm. me. That's why it's a little weird to receive that 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 type of emails because are I don't you, have that type of information. Are you guys ready, or do you need more time? You guys are ready. Yes, true. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, you guys finished, right? Um, all right, so what we're going to do, um, let's see.
give me a moment, guys, while I try to figure out how we're going to rearrange the groups so that um, everybody is with um, somebody from another group. So that's, that's, that's what we're gonna aim for. Okay, so. Um, Uh, okay. Second, guys. okay. All right, so we're going to recreate groups so that um everybody is with a new group that you guys can explain your topic to, your new topic. Okay. So, um, right, so we have six words, we have Anna Claudia with Francisco and Fernando, Fernando Marvin, and Juan Miguel. Number two, we'll have Dora with Jose Marcos and David. And Fernando Ernesto. The next group will have Liliana with Jose Wilfredo and Heidi. Last one we'll have um uh -huh. Okay, so um, each group will have at least one member from um, each of the groups so that you guys can get a definition of all the different uh, vocabulary. And remember, the idea is to explain in your own words, okay? So, um, um, open up the groups. Right now. Try ah uh -huh. yeah yeah ah uh, okay my good okay so, uh, guys in my case mm -hmm. uh in, in in the group we were talking about malicious activity yeah so in, in general uh, malicious activity uh is obviously related with a a kind or a type of intrusion in your system your network or your uh, devices your hardware in general uh, that is not 
al allowed or is not granted eh, for you, yeah, di directly for you, is maybe or could be maybe a virus, could be a hacker doing some eh, weird situations, taking or knowing your credentials and acting, eh, for example, instead of you and doing some eh, bad situations in your in your whole system and the system is I, i'm not talking about the a, a software I, i'm talking about the whole system infrastructure programs devices hardware software etc so uh, is in general any kind or any type of activity that's that is not uh, granted for you to a new user uh, and is done in, in your system, yeah? For example, I, I was talking yesterday about the ransomware that is a kind of, or a type of virus or malware maybe that uh, take uh, all of your data and log your data for example, if you have uh, 10 files in a folder, eight of the 10 are encrypted and you have to pay something for this. So the, the action to convert or, or to log the files is a malicious activity. It's, it's an activity that's, that is not uh, permitted for you or, or granted for you, yeah? For example, but there, there are many, 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 many kind of situations that are related with uh, malicious activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. The concept is malicious activity. Yeah, malicious. Malicious activity. I don't know if someone else was with you in this in the same group because we are five here. Oh, One, no, no. Uh, no. Ah, okay. In my case, we uh, investigate this word uh, weak link. And talking about cybersecurity, at the end, we understood that the weakest link, the, the vulnerability, is the human factor because the humans are the one that make mistakes and they are the one that falls. Uh, for example, we the best way we understood this is uh, in a... uh, tools or the, the trick they have can modify the database. Um, of an, any web page or, or, or web application. So it's important to the developers can add a security, an extra security layer in the code they programming because sometimes the hacker um, take advantage of this weakness and they get in in the, in the system through, through the code, through the, the code of the web page. And another example is a remote, remote attacker runs common on the server. So in this case, an attacker can uh, run some malicious script to enter to a computer or, or a network, and they can steal information or they can encrypt uh, information and ask as you money for getting back those, those files or all the information. So that is my my work. Security threat. There is a potential damage of on security.
Uh, David, what is the word that you talked about? Malvertising, I think. Okay. Malvertising, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Um, malicious activity? Someone explain about it? No. Okay. It for me is the we click. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, the weak link is a point or which in system or process most vulnerable. Uh, maybe can be a element or member of a, maybe can be a human person, a, Actions or process. For example, in the in the in the in department or in the work, in the companies, there are many companies, there are many este, departments. In in un department, for example, in the eh, the shipping. In the import export, there are a person when this person go slow um, carrying the orders, uh, mistake or other things. This is a weak link. In the process, maybe it's a, when the uh, no. There are in communication in the in the in the process the, the something process. In the uh, in the in the in the system info, informatic system is a maybe is a, a point most vulnerable. Yes. yes, it's okay. the, the point that uh, a hacker can use yes. to access the system. Mm -hmm. I see in, in the context of, of cyber attacks. Cyber attacks. Uh, okay, uh, my word is malicious activity. Uh, I found uh, the concept, the use of uh, digital systems to inflict harm or to elicit gain profit using uh, maybe a system or, or, the, or a platform. We have some different malicious activities like malware phishing, we were talking about yesterday about it. Uh, SQL, uh, SQL injection, is, that is maybe a term, uh, a complicated term. Several days exploit, DNS tunneling, it's made, it's business email made compromise, and that is uh, malicious activity, or maybe malicious activity related with the other concept because uh, you can find, find, find inside the, this, those concepts maybe some different kinds of activities. And that's it. Okay. Can you write them the, the name of the letter, please? Fernando. <laughs> Sorry, my dad is talking, so I didn't hear you. <laughs> yes, for, for that reason, I, I, I can hear some sound of the word. In a, the, the, what is the word? What are you looking for? Malicious activity. Malicious activity. Ah, okay, okay. Is it something like a more word, something like a market? I see. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, Jose. Hello. Hi, teacher. Um, I don't know like, why. Hi. The application a, reject me. It's okay. Um, just let me know which group you were in. Uh, where is Katie? And okay. No, no, who else? Okay. Uh, Roxana. Heidi and Roxana. Yeah. Okay. I know which group that is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wendy, are you there? Oh, the charges. I hear. Uh, which group were you in? I don't know, teacher. Uh, in this moment, uh, I well, I have a problem in well, my work, mm -hmm. and I try to. Uh, uh, estoy tratando de solucionar un problema en mi trabajo. Teacher. Oh, so Perdón. you're not you're not able to work, then no, with no, the no. others. Okay, okay. Then I'll just uh, I'll leave you here then. Okay. okay teacher. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Juan Miguel or Fernando oh, want to add something. You are the, the ITs also too. <laughs> I don't know, Fernando, if you want to. Uh, no, it's only, only a comment. Yeah, we, we're working in IT, but uh, I'm not especially on this area. But so, security three, I guess, is all right. He will be including yeah. the malvertising, the virus. No, it's because I couldn't hear very well. There was a sound issue. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I, well. I, I was. I don't know if my computer was. No, no, no. In Francisco, it's always. He's on the, on the mic, but security threats, yeah, it refers to the different weeks, the different uh, risks that system have. So something, something of that risk, maybe <laughs> we we don't know that exists. Mm -hmm. We we notice when it's late. <laughs> yeah. So, but the the, the but I imagine uh, security threat is each of the things that we are mentioning, right? The one that we explain. Oh yes. That that's part of it. Okay. Okay. I guess we got the guys, Sorry? In, in general, uh, it's a, maybe a, a potential um, event or event, event. or situation uh -huh, that can uh, affect or cause damage in your whole system, in maybe in a part or maybe in the entire system, yeah? Mm. It's not when the event is done, it's like, uh, how to say, how, how to explain this? Uh, the, the potential situation, yeah? Uh, That's a security okay. threat. For yeah, example, okay. uh, yeah, I, I, and I will refer to, to another kind of situation. A security threat in your car, is that your doors, cars are not closed and secured, only or just closed, yeah? You have a security threat because if someone find this breach, uh, they can open your car and enter in, yeah? It's mm -hmm. a state, like the potential cause, yeah? Mm -hmm. That can um, damage something in your, in your entire system. My goodness, we can can we say then that we are 
there are a lot of security threats because potential yeah. situations could happen. Yeah, one one of the most common situations in the end users uh, are, for example, that you have your cell phone mm -hmm. yeah, and you don't have a, a pattern or a password a ID or something like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is a security threat because if you if you manage all of your info in your device, mm -hmm. the other person has the access or ha uh -huh, has the access to to enter to your device, they can do whatever you want. They, exactly. Sorry, they can do whatever they want with your team. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but the situation itself is the... The the, the three, the, the security yeah. three. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Do you guys need more time or is that, are you finished? I guess we understood, yeah. I don't know my, my classmates. But I guess we understood, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we are ready. Okay. For me, okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay too. Okay, I will see you in the main room in a bit. Okay. Okay, teacher. Are you guys ready? Do, did you understand all the concepts? Yes, teacher. I think. Perfect. Okay, great. See you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So did we understand all the concepts? Are they pretty clear for you? Or do you, are you still not clear about a certain concept? Yeah. So, it's okay. All right. So who can explain a weak link? What is a weak link? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, David. Okay, a weak link, if we are talking in general terms, is uh, the weak part of a chain, but in the cyber uh, security, the weak links is uh, uh, the easy way that a hacker or a cyber attack can use to go into a system or to go into a network. It is a, a general third user that says that the human beings are the quick link in the cybersecurity. This is a, a general concept that they are using. Because the human do the same error uh, one, two, three, and many times. But in the in a computer, you can correct the, the error, but the human, for that reason, is a general concept. Human beings are the quick link in a cybersecurity chain. Okay. That is teaching. Okay. Maybe we, mm -hmm. we were finding out in the, the group, mm -hmm. uh, also Laura and, and Liana, that maybe because yes, the human factor is the weakest link. That that is the reason why for the security purposes, when companies provide us with assets like computers or tablets, they do not allow us to download a social media programs or mm -hmm. for us to do personal stuff because if for some reason we open like uh, a suspicious uh, email with a touch file or something like that 
we are putting in risk the whole organization. So the one making the mistakes is the human. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the security programs or process mm -hmm. are made, but unfortunately, there is necessary for humans to make a process for these works. For example, if the security for your laptop uh, to uh, you can is able to lock the uh, the screen, but it's necessary that the human make a process to lock or unlock the screen, mm -hmm. and the same happens with multiple process. And and as David mentioned, yes, in a we can say it or name it like in a production chain. Uh, everybody has something to do, but if one of the the employees they do not complete or do what is supposed to do, at the end that that is the weak link because uh, is it possible for a hacker to have access to a whole organization because one of the employees may click in something or suspicious email, mm -hmm. and, and unfortunately the human factor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Okay. Security threats. Who wants to explain to the class what are sec security threats? Well, security threats is a malicious act that the main idea is to store your personal information or your uh, company information. Mm -hmm. uh, a clear example of that is when you receive a, a spam in your email. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remember the previous year, uh, Banco Agricola was notifying that some uh, user received some emails with uh, malicious links. And the users of um, online bank, online? No, online bank? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Online bank, uh, they. Uh, Keep some personal information to the to that page, or they uh, store the information, and after that they get the money of the of the bank account. So mm -hmm. the thing is that um, is uh, very common for us to receive that type of emails or personal emails or work emails, mm -hmm. and the thing is uh, that uh, the main idea of that. Uh, hackers or yeah hackers is uh, stole everything information information that they uh, can use for example address or uh, bank information or different like that okay yes very good very good excellent who wants uh, to elaborate on that or you guys pretty satisfied with that that idea by the way anybody received an email from where you guys uh, attacked there by the those uh those hackers yeah. There are many, many emails. There are uh, many, even though WhatsApp that uh, they are sending, the people send uh, to to you open and they get access to all of the information. Mm -hmm. that there are uh, incredible offers. Uh, the, the bank is alerting that this uh, something is too good to be real. It is uh, is not good. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, next, uh, malvertising. Uh, until this day, I didn't know. I didn't know what is the the, the meaning or the, the origin. I I, I listen to malware, malware, and I didn't know what is the, the, the origin of that word. And it's a chore of malicious software. And it's a, and the same for, for malvertising is malicious cybertising. Mm -hmm. 
It's mm -hmm. a short word, and uh, obviously it's some uh, something the the hacker or the bad people put in the advertising, and it's the same concept. It's something is too good to be real. Uh, there are uh, uh, recently there, there was a a page that is promoting a an English course in the in all of the rest. Social social media, Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. that has a, a a bird. I don't remember the name, but it was uh, so good. There are many things, and uh, for free, and many people get uh, trapped in, in in this in this uh, advertising because it's, it was so bad and. Is a malicious software that somebody put in an advertising that uh, attacked your system, your computer, your company, or all of that you are connected in a system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. What 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 program is that, or what what um it's, what company is a, that? I, I, I don't remember. What? I don't remember, but there is. There is a, a software that is a Duolingo. Duolingo is a good mm -hmm. software and it's mm -hmm. a free software you can use for your error in language. But mm -hmm. this is was was uh, taking the idea of Duolingo, but use a different color and a different bird. I don't remember it's a bar or something like that. Oh, okay. So they're they're trying to to uh, imitate. To, yes. to be able to um, imitate la, what's it called Duolingo so that people think that it's... Yes, that ah. is, there is something, something similar and the people uh, see that it's something good, but not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. Okay, good, good. Anything else? Well, I understand that advertising is, uh, for example, when you are... Uh, checking some uh, web page and you receive some advertising and maybe for evil, you, you, uh, you click, uh -huh. you click, uh -huh. you click uh, that uh, ad and they receive uh, some information about your equipment. So it's like a spam because they are recreating like um maybe like a beautiful image the the, the thing is that you don't receive an email you receive an advertise advertising in a website and you get a click and they can store your information your public information i guess Okay, yeah. Um yeah, base, yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, just like um like David was saying, um, for example, uh, some people may may look at um a you know an advertisement and think, oh yeah, this is this is uh, from another company that they they trust, right? And um, and then they click on it, and when you click on it, it d drives you directly to something that is um, is very um, is very suspicious. And yes, it can it can get information that is not uh, information from your computer and all. Um, for example, um, I remember sometimes I would I would start uh investigating something and then i uh, i would click on one of um a, you know an x website um and then it, it would open and it, the the website would open and they would say oh you are the 100th you're, you're the 1000th uh, winner blah 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 and so click to to get to get your prize right 
And so if you, you know, people are like, oh yeah, I want that, right? So, and then when you click on it, they steal your, your information, yeah. Okay, very good. And finally, malicious activity. Who wants to explain that? Uh, malicious activity mm -hmm. in general mm -hmm. um, is any kind of activity mm -hmm. in any part of your system. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have to understand the system not as a software, uh, uh, but, but also uh, uh, all the, the whole uh, system, cyber system, if we can call it mm -hmm. at your corporation. So uh, a malicious activity is any kind of activity that is not allowed by any of, of uh, the users that you have in your organization mm -hmm. as it, yeah? For example, um, a hacker called uh, could know or uh -huh, a hacker could know your credentials and access to maybe to a program, maybe to a device or something like this, and do whatever uh, this person wants. And at the end, uh, this kind of situation, this kind of, of activities that this person that is not allowed to enter uh, uh, do in the system, this is the, the malicious activity. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Or uh, we have another example uh, uh, about the ransomware, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you open your email is an activity that you do. You open the attachment. Yeah, is an activity that you do, but the process uh, that this attachment that does in order mm -hmm. to log your files, this is the malicious activity. It's an, uh, an action that you, that you don't grant the permissions as, as it in your computer to perform any activity, yeah? Mm-hmm, okay, yeah. So you, um, you voluntarily, um, uh, participate in in like you click on on whatever information um, that they want you to to be able to get your information. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Anything else? Anything else you guys want to add? No? So the concepts are clear, right? Okay. All right. Perfect. So now we're going to be looking at new vocabulary. No, oh, hold on. No. That's not it. Just give me a moment. Okay, by the way, do you guys have any questions so far? Everything is clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Uh, just give me a moment.
just a second, guys. Oh, there's something. It's not adding up. Just give me one moment. All right, so uh, what are we going to do? Okay. Um, so let's talk about uh, ways that cybercrime impact businesses. Okay, so obviously, yes, um, cybercrime can happen to individuals, but one of the biggest areas that have suffered an impact is uh, these businesses, right? Especially, like, for example, we were talking about the very classical example of last year uh, with um, Banco Agricola, um, which was a very big thing because it didn't only affect what a company, it pretty much affected you know, a whole country, right? Because you know, uh, uh, Banco Agricola is one of like the the main uh, banks of El Salvador, right? So it, it impacted a, a big um, portion of the population. So what we're gonna do uh, right now is, um, can you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes, do you? Yeah, okay. So we're going to talk about six ways that cybercrime impacts businesses. Okay. Uh, we have uh, six different ways. We have increased costs, operational dis uh, disrup disruption, altered business practices, reputational damage, lost revenue, and stolen intellectual property. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically very similar to what we did before. I'm going to be I'm going to be um, sectioning you with uh, different topics so that you can investigate each one of them. Okay. So I'm going to divide the class into six groups so that you can all investigate one of those areas. Okay. Um, but first, let me create the breakout rooms because I've got to make sure that everybody has a group. Some of you guys may have a group, other uh, of you may have a just a partner. Okay, so let's take that into account. Um, okay, I think, okay, um, so I'm going to be, just like last time, I'm going to be giving you the, the name of the topic, okay, so Stay with me.
All right, so we all understand what we're going to be doing. Yeah. So um, this is, remember, the topic here is ways that cybercrime impact businesses. Okay, so the idea is how um, this particular aspect um of businesses is impacted by the cybercrime, okay? And you can give me examples as well. That's a very important part. You guys give examples. It's easier for, for the rest of us to understand, okay? All right, so I'm going to assign, I give you about 20 minutes, okay? Here we go. Uh, Francisco Eduardo, are you there? Are you going to be able to participate? I, I can barely hear you. Okay, all right, wonderful. Heidi, are you there? Heidi? Hello, teacher. Hello, Wendy. Teacher, what is the topic? The war group at the top of uh, at the top of the of the group. You will see it. Can you see it? No. On the top part, in the parte de arriba de la 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 página. Oh, alter mm -hmm. alter business. Ay, no lo puedo ver completo. Practices. I can see alter business practices. Mm -hmm. That's right. O only uh, uh, discuss the topic and next to discuss it the group in the big group. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. You can you can see Dora? No. Okay, the topic is it's not cheap to training people in in that kind of, of that cost something for the, for the company. So if you want to protect the company of these attacks, you have to protect with with good. I don't know um programs software or I don't know kind of like that and the most effective is the 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 program or 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 the thing that you buy for for, for protecting your your information I think that is 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 maybe more expensive. Yes, they need to buy software and and maybe they need to hire an specialist. There was a, a 
about uh, what about uh, five years something like that that a hacker use an anti an antivirus an antivirus because the antivirus has all of the permission the antivirus can go deeper in your com in the, your computer or in your system because because they need to protect them and that hacker use a I, I don't remember this was a, a version of Norton or for that reason, Norton changed his name. I, I think it was Norton. Norton was uh, the, the, the biggest company protecting software. And uh, then they changed his name to Asset because I, 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 I remember it was some software company that somebody hacker hack and uh, may, they can access many computers almost the, the the majority of us have a if we have another antivirus uh, not only window but an, another one uh, we, we use a free version i use uh, the let me see, Abbas, Abbas, sometimes. Abbas, a, a free version. And, we'll be in the yeah. and uh, I don't buy the, the, the paid, paid version because ah. it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I see. And, and, and are you able to see what I got, what I paste in the chat? Let's be sure. What I found in the in 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 Google. Sorry, sorry. Did, are you able to see what I copy and paste in the chat? Ah, that information. Uh huh. That is what Google says. An operational disruption is defined as the frequency uh, in which a firm experiences unexpected events and the events uh, could be for example external events like earthquake hurricanes uh-huh i don't know if we can mention an example does your company uh -huh, about this does your company suffer any operational disruption due to any of these in your company? Related related to, to the security, uh, a security trip uh, in this country, no. But uh, at this time, uh, we receive information from the uh, country. Uh, Super, super uh, uh, operational disruption so, uh, from for a, a security threat. But, but in your company, did you suffer something? What no, I understand is that there is like an interruption, right, for something that is going on. That is what I understand. Uh, no, in this in, in this country, mm -hmm. the company uh, has a uh, uh, many office uh, around the the world, mm. uh, and, and I don't remember in the, the country, but they is uh, suffer a uh, uh, security threat. Ah, uh, okay, and that causes the operational disruption, so they couldn't operate or work as usual until this be fixed, no? Uh, no, the, the, uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this time, uh, the, 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 uh, what do you say, the, the attack, uh, It was uh, for a uh, loss of loss information. I don't remember very well, but uh, no, it's, there is uh, 
was a, a operational disruption. There wasn't or there was? And there wasn't. There wasn't. So mm -hmm. there, there mm, but what I understand is that yes, for those things I have, for example, security three mm -hmm. that could happen in a company, the operational disruption is the consequence, right? Because the company mm -hmm. can... Uh, for example, uh, uh -huh. uh, in the, 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 the recent, the, the recent uh, attack, for example, the Banco Agricola. Uh, attack of what? Banco Agricola. They, ah, they, uh -huh. uh, 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 mm, that wait. caused the operational disruption? No party could access that application. Right. Uh -huh. in, mm. in this, in, I uh, in the, the country I don't. Máquina robaron los tres mil bolas. So we need to be careful with that. Yeah, we we have mm -hmm. to to be careful with this request, kind of situation. Yeah. yeah. We need to request one uh, commitment. To read. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else. Uh, um, I guess that those that you raw that you already raw um, are the the most. Um, as la, are like a principle. With those, you understand a lot because are on the point. So, I guess what? that's okay. A hey, teacher, just uh, one question. Uh, we need to. We need to discuss the name of the of the group, right? Because I saw the group right. and said reputational damage. Yes, correct. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know why, but I guess that maybe it's the most uh, mentioned the bank curricula uh, reputational damage. For those times, I, I guess that is because uh, the people use a lot of social network and all, all of them know the situation or know, know the situation. But for this moment, I guess that is at the most, at the most what on the red point could be. Or in the red zone. See sí, what else? Uh, for example, uh, the 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 whole system uh, was compromised. So yeah. uh, obviously, uh, people in general was talking bad. Uh, or in a bad way about the, the entire institution. So mm -hmm. in order to, to, to mitigate uh, this kind of, of situation, they open it, or oh, how oh, they stay open it until 9 p.m. or something like this, mm -hmm. trying to solve some situations related with this with, with the with the with the main with the main one mm -hmm. yeah but it was not uh, satisfactory how, how to say this teacher satisfactory in english That's satisfactory satisfactory yeah satisfactory Satisfactory, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was not satisfactory to, to all, to all users. 
Yeah. And at the end, they try, they they withdraw their money and take to another one to manage it. Yeah. I know people that I, I hi in my job. Um, are you guys finished? Hello, teacher. Um, almost. Um, I am researching about the, the cyber security and how it affects a business a security okay. threat. And what kind of security threat? Okay, I see. All right. So, for example, I found an attacking file in the. No. Publicly. No, not public. Publicly. Publicly. Okay, publicly. Okay. Okay, so we hear you. Continue with your explication, Well, and let me see. Additionally, the inter intermixing of company application and storage service with personal devices and, and service <laughs> is a common vector for IT theft. As personal devices are back holes, the most security and IP track system, another if access explore it's exploration, it's exploration. Well, what, which, Access which one? Exploration. Uh, access, explo uh. Exploration. 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 Uh, exploit exploitation. Maybe it has a, a, a how, when you may a, a, a error in typing, how is the name of that? I don't know. I don't know if this word is correct. Explotación. I don't know if it's yeah. Ex Explotación. Explotación. Okay. Exploitation. Maybe this, this, I, it's, it's uh -huh. exploit, exploitation. Exploitation. Yes, and it's correct. It's correct, mm -hmm. teacher. Yes, with, it's correct. With I. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Exploit. Exploit. Exploitation. Exploitation. Okay. okay. Yes. Unlike when employees in a personally expose IP theft, some may deliver deliberately steal that data. Corporate corporate spy. Spy spy. Yeah, corporate spy. Spice. Yes. Spies. Spies. Mm -hmm. Spies. Corporate spy. Corporate corporate spy. Employees who use espionage techniques. Techniques. Espionage. Espionage, espionage, yeah. espionage technique, techniques for commercial or financial purpose, for purpose, or workers stealing data for their own use may seek out 
sensitive information from files shared host by corporate servers. Similarly, the Disgruntled employees. Disgruntled employees. Disgruntled employees who have put in their notice to quit my international link. No, intent, intent, no, say intent. Intentionally. Intentional leak, leaks, leak, 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 private business data to competitors to take revenge, revenge, they are mm -hmm. soon to be former employer. And the other is hackers. The actors outside outside an organization like hacker don't typically steal IP, but it happens occasionally. They use pushing or other social engineering attacks to steal regulate data like personal identification information and credit card details that they can monetize monetize by impersonalizing impersonating impersonated impersonating individuals yeah and this concept apply to to our investigation right yes Hackers, yeah, malicious actors. So it's not the the principal activity that they may, be, but sometimes it happens. Hackers steal IP. Right. So and there is a a common a common strategy for that patient. Oh, we know that with what well, is vision, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you think, William? Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, I'll see you in the main room. Oh. Okay, guys. Um, are you were you able to finish, or do you still need more time? Um, we finished, teacher, with David. Mm -hmm. We finished. We finished, mm -hmm. too, teacher. Okay. Is there any group that is not finished? No. Okay. Perfect. All right. So in that case, uh, we will be presenting on Monday. Okay. Because I won't say tomorrow because obviously it's not going to be for tomorrow. Um, we'll be presenting on Monday and um, it will we'll go back um, to the same groups. Okay. So I'm, I'm taking note 
of uh, the groups that we have. And um, that will be all for today. Just going to be taking attendance quickly. Um, so, Ana Claudia. Yes, teacher. Right. Uh, do, uh, sorry, um, David. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Dora. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Fernando Marvin. Present. Right. Um, Heidi. Heidi, not here. Okay, uh, Ileana. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Harvin. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Marcos. Present. Okay, Jose Osmin. Present teacher. Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Um, Juan Miguel. Teacher present. Okay, great. Uh, Ramon Enrique. Uh, Roberto Luis. Uh, Roxana Ivet. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Um, great, thank you very much. Also, Francisco. Um, uh, William. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Soleima. Okay, Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, and Wilfredo. Okay, all right guys, so that will be all for today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and we'll see each other on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Heidi, are you there? Yes, teacher. I lost the, the connection. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Okay, yeah, because when I, I called your name for the attendance, you didn't answer. So I was like, oh, what happened to her? Okay, all right. Um, do you have any questions about um, the assignment? Uh, I couldn't hear, teacher. Uh, were, you in the, the were you in the group? Like, were, were no. you? I I was driving on my way home and then I lost the connection and I couldn't. Mm, and okay. I couldn't. Okay, let me see. Um, let me see. Yeah, you weren't, I guess you were not assigned any group. Okay, well, I guess then... Um, on Monday, if I, if there are still some groups that need time, I'll assign you a group. If not, then we'll just stay back and listen, okay? All right? Okay, teacher. Okay. So have a wonderful weekend. You have a nice weekend too, teacher. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.